dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the church called upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, sanctify this new fire, we pray, and grant that by these Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. All times belong to him and all the ages. To him be glory and power through every age and forever. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds, may Christ the Lord guard us and protect us. Amen. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. Dear brothers and sisters, now we will have Easter proclamation. Exult, let them exult, 
the hosts of heaven exult let angel ministers of god exult let the trumpet of salvation sound aloud almighty kings triumph be glad let earth be glad as glory floods her a blaze with light from her eternal king let all corners of the earth be glad knowing an end to gloom and darkness rejoice let mother church also rejoice arrayed with the lightning of his glory let this holy building shake with joy filled with the mighty voices of the peoples the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just with heart and love of mind and heart and with devoted service of a voice to acclaim a god invisible the almighty father and jesus christ our lord his son his only begotten who for our sake paid adam's debt to eternal father and pouring out his own dear blood wiped clean the record of our ancient sinfulness this then are the feast of passover in which is slain the lamb the one true lamb whose blood anoints the door posts of believers this is the night when once you led our forebears israel's children from slavery in egypt and made them pass dry shot through the red sea this is the night that with a pillar of fire banished the darkness of sin this is the night that even now throughout the world sets christian believers apart from worldly vices and from the gloom of sin leading them to grace and joining them to his holy ones this is the night when christ broke the prison bars of death and rose victorious from the underworld o oh, wonder of your humble care for us o oh, love o oh, charity beyond telling to ransom a slave you gave away your son O oh, truly necessary sin of Adam 
destroyed completely by the death of Christ who oh, happy fault that earned so great so glorious a redeemer the sanctifying power of this night dispels wickedness washes falls away restores innocence to the fallen and joy to the mourners who oh, truly blessed night when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human therefore o lord we pray you that this candle hallowed to the honor of your name may persevere undimmed to overcome the darkness of this night receive it as a pleasing fragrance and let it mingle with the lights of heaven may this flame be found still burning by the morning star the one morning star who never sets Christ your son who coming back from death's domain has shed his peaceful light on humanity and lives and reigns forever and ever amen dear brethren now that we have begun our solemn vigil let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of god let us meditate on how god in times past saved his people and in these the last days has sent us his son as our redeemer let us pray that our god may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption first reading a reading from the book of genesis in the beginning when god created the heavens and the earth god said let us make man in our image according to our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over all the wild animals of the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth so god created man in his image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them god blessed them and god said to them be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth god said see i have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit you shall have them for food and to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the air and to everything that creeps on the earth everything that has the breath of life i have given every green plant for food and it was so god saw everything that he had made and indeed it was very good and there was evening and there was morning the sixth day the word of the lord thanks be to god 
responsorial psalm psalm number 104 your response would be lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God. You are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, wrapped in light as with the garment. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. You set the earth on its foundations so that it shall never be shaken you cover it with the deep as with a garment the waters stood above the mountains lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth You make springs gush forth in the valleys they flow between the hills by the streams the birds of the air have their habitation they sing among the branches lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth From your lofty abode you water the mountains the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work you cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for people to use to bring forth food from the earth Lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth O Lord how manifold are your works in wisdom you have made them all the earth is full of your creatures bless the Lord O oh my soul Lord send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth Let us pray O oh God who wonderfully created human nature and still more wonderfully redeemed it grant us we pray to set our minds against the entanglements of sins that we may merit to attain eternal joys through Christ our lord amen second reading a reading from the book of exodus the lord said to moses why do you cry out to me tell the children of israel to go forward but you lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it that the children of israel may go into the sea on dry ground then i will harden the hearts of the egyptians so that they will go in after them and so i will gain glory for myself over pharaoh and all his army his chariots and his chariot drivers and the egyptians shall know that i am the lord when i have gained glory for myself over pharaoh his chariots and his chariot drivers the angel of god who was going before the israelite army 
moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from in front of them and took its place behind them. It came between the army of Egypt and the army of Israel. And so the cloud was there with the darkness and it lit up the night. One did not come near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove the sea back by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land. And the waters were divided. The children of Israel went into the sea on dry ground. The waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued and went into the sea after them, all of Pharaoh's horses, chariots and chariot drivers. At the morning watch, the Lord in the pillar of fire and cloud looked down upon the Egyptian army and threw the Egyptian army into panic. They clothed their chariot wheels so that they turned with difficulty. The Egyptians said, Let us flee from the children of Israel, for the Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and chariot drivers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea returned to its normal depth. As the Egyptians fled before it, the Lord tossed the Egyptians into the sea. The water returned and covered the chariots and the chariot drivers, the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea. Not one of them remained. But the children of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, the waters forming a wall for them on their right and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians. And Israel saw that great work that the Lord did against the Egyptians. So the people feared the Lord and believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. The prophet Miriam, Aaron's sister, took a tambourine in her hand, and all the women went out after her with tambourines and with dancing. Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord. Now let us sing the canticle taken from the book of Exodus chapter 15. Your response would be, Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider, he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my might, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise Him. My Father's God, and I will exalt Him. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered Himself in glory. The Lord is a Pharaoh's chariots and his army, 
he cast into the sea. His picked officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your majesty, you overthrew your adversaries. You sent out your fury. It consumed them like stubble. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. You brought your people in and planted them on the mountains of your own possession. The place, O oh Lord, that you made your abode. The sanctuary, O oh Lord, that your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning of wonders what in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred font and the nation delivered from slavery foreshadows the Christian people, grant, we pray, that all nations obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith may be reborn by partaking of your spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Third reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, when the house of Israel lived on their own soil. They defiled it with their ways and their deeds. Their conduct in my sight was unclean. So I poured out my wrath upon them for the blood that they had shed upon the land and for the idols with which they had defiled it. I scattered them among the nations and they were dispersed through the countries. In accordance with their conduct and their deeds, I judged them. But when they came to the nations, wherever they came, they profaned my holy name. In that it was said of them, These are the people of the Lord, and yet they had to go out of his land. But I had concern for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the nations to which they came. Therefore say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations and which you have profaned among them. And the nations shall know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, when through you I display my holiness before their eyes. I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean 
from all your uncleanness and from all your idols i will cleanse you a new heart i will give you and a new spirit i will put within you and i will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh i will put my spirit within you and make you follow my statutes and be careful to observe my ordinance then you shall live in the land that i gave to your ancestors and you shall be my people and i will be your god the word of the lord thanks be to god psalm number 42 your response would be as a deer longs for flowing streams my soul longs for you o god as the deer longs for flowing streams my soul longs for you o god as the deer longs for flowing streams my soul longs for you o god my soul thirsts for god for the living god when shall i come and behold the face of god as the deer longs for flowing streams my soul longs for you o god i went with the throng and led them in procession to the house of god with glad shouts and songs of thanksgiving a multitude keeping festival as the deer longs for flowing streams my soul longs for you o god o send out your light and your truth let them lead me let them bring me to your holy mountain and to your dwelling as the deer longs for flowing streams my soul longs for you o god then i will go to the altar of god to god my exceeding joy and i will praise you with a harp o god my god as the deer longs for flowing streams my soul longs for you o god let us pray o god who by the pages of both testaments instruct and prepare us to celebrate the paschal mystery grant that we may comprehend your mercy so that the gifts we receive from you this night may confirm our hope of the gifts to come through christ our lord amen dear brothers and sisters now we will proceed to the altar and sing the gloria
of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive a prayer, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth to people of the world. Let us pray. God, who made this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption so that, renewed in body and mind, we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him, so that the body of sin might be destroyed, and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For whoever has died is free from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and to alive to God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Now let us sing the solemn Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, His steadfast love endures forever. the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's way. It is marvelous in our eyes. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descending from heaven came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the gods shook and became like a dead man. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. For he has been raised as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples, He has been raised from the dead. And indeed, he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, today we are celebrating Easter Sunday, which is the primary feast of all feasts because it is the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. If Christmas Day is the most joyous feast in the church, I can say that Easter Sunday is the most glorious feast of all. Biblically, our Christian preaching, faith and mission to preach the good news to all people 
and to all walks of life would have been worthless if Jesus did not rise from the dead. Theologically, the Paschal mystery of Christ, which is his passion, death and resurrection, would be incomplete if Easter has not happened. Liturgically, all feasts in the liturgical calendar revolve around the observance of Easter. Therefore, the glory of Easter is very much present in the resurrection of Christ. This commemoration of the resurrection of Jesus provides us the answers to such questions as what is the meaning of life? After suffering, what will happen next? Suffering again? After death, would have there be a hope of resurrection of eternal life? Would there be a change? Would there be a difference after the resurrection of Jesus? Jesus by his resurrection is showing us that life is not at all meaningless. After suffering, there is still happiness. During our theological formation, I saw a movie entitled The Fourth Wise Man. We knew through tradition in the church that there are only three wise men who visited Jesus when he was born. We considered it as three because of the number of gifts they have given to Jesus. That movie began like a Christmas story, but it ends like an Easter story. The main actor of that story was Martin Sheen, who starred as the fourth wise man named Arthabon, who was late for the journey together with the three wise men made to Bethlehem because he stopped along the way to help someone in need and those in trouble. For the next 33 years, he tries to find the promised Messiah only to miss him at every turn because he is constantly getting sidetracked to help people. Finally, he finds Jesus, but he is late because Christ was already crucified and died on the cross. At that moment, when Jesus died, the earthquake occurs and a falling time hit him. As he lies dying, he is broken hearted because his desire to find the Messiah alive and in that instance, his life becomes meaningless. Suddenly, the risen Lord appeared to him and said that for the past 33 years, he had already found Jesus in the person of all people he had helped. And so, whatever Arthabon, the fourth wise man, had done to the least of the Lord's people, he has done to Jesus himself. This is one of example not waiting passively for that Easter hope of ours. There are many other simple and yet very inspiring stories of hope and charity. Perhaps that is what Frederick, an atheist German philosopher, meant when he said, these Christians should look more redeemed 
before I believe in their Redeemer. In other words, we have to be like Christ to others. Our way of life must be that of Jesus Christ. Can we make it? Yes, we can make it. Amen. Now we will have the blessing of the baptismal water. O God, whose son baptized by John in the waters of the Jordan, was anointed with the Holy Spirit, and as he hung upon the cross, gave forth water from his side along with blood, and after his resurrection commanded his disciples, Go forth, teach all nations, baptizing them, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Look now, we pray, upon the face of your church, and graciously unseal for her the foundation of baptism. May this water receive by the Holy Spirit the grace of your only begotten Son, so that human nature created in your image and washed clean through the sacrament of baptism, from all the squalor of the life of old, may be found worthy to rise to the life of newborn children through water and the Holy Spirit. May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this font, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with Him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Springs of water, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Dear brothers and sisters, now let us renew our baptismal promises. Dear brethren, through Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with Him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounced Satan and his works, and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do and all his works I do, and all his empty show I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and death? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. 
and may almighty god the father of our lord jesus christ who has given us new birth by water and the holy spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins keep us by his grace in christ jesus our lord for eternal life amen by his resurrection christ has conquered all that stands between us and god we therefore approach the father now with great confidence that all church leaders will be renewed in their mission of leading all of people to jesus the risen lord we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for a deeper unity among all christians as they acknowledge together and proclaim to the world the resurrection of christ we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the risen christ may bless guide and protect all who serve in public office we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that jesus who conquered the power of death may give our society the strength to eliminate the corona virus we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the sick may be comforted and healed and that all who have died may share in the resurrection we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer now let us pray for our own intentions we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer father you have already granted us more than we can ask for in the resurrection of christ as you answer our prayers make us ever more faithful to him who is the lord forever and ever amen Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of our holy church accept we pray o lord the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that what has begun in the paschal mysteries may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. but on this night above all 
to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Hosanna in the highest Blessed is he who comes In the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest Hosanna in the highest To you Therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace. To God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Marcel our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, all gathered whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. On this day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be born by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, Hope in your abandoned mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostle and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord. Amen through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. Amen. 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 Let us pray with confidence to the Father, the words our Saviour gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of words, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. We hold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal sacrament one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow down for the solemn blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the praise of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast, come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Dear brothers and sisters, I wish each and every one a happy Easter. Thank you.